Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create an amazing underwater title reveal animation in your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about animating in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as underwater text reveal. Click OK. We will bring our stock footage onto our project panel. Drag the stock video onto our sequence to create a new sequence. Here we have this amazing video of ocean view with boats in it. We will use this video to create our text reveal animation. Take the text tool here and type in reveal on our preview screen. Now press V on your keyboard to select the move tool. Here we have our anchor point, we will place it in the center. Hold control on your keyboard and place it in the center. Increase its size by dragging the edge of our text shape. In the effects control panel, we will change the color of our text to somewhat similar, but little darker ocean color. Take the color pickup tool and click on the color you want to use. I will click on the brighter side of the ocean. Now we will use this color sample and select a little darker tone. Click OK. That looks good. Now go to blend mode and change it to hard light. This will give us that oceanic theme to our text. You can also use overlay to get that same theme but a little lighter in color. I will change it back to hard light. We will now start animating our text. Here we have two opacity options. We will use the default opacity. Extend the text layer up to 20 second duration. Place the playhead at the start and keyframe the opacity. Change it to zero. Now place the indicator at 7 second and change the opacity back to 100%. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. We now animated the reveal effect, but this is not done yet. We will add more effects to enhance the our text reveal. Here we have one problem and that is our text is over our two boats and it ruining our video. There are two ways to fix this blunder. Select the stock layer and hold Alt on your keyboard. Drag it to the third video track to create a duplicate of our stock video. Now select the duplicated layer and in the effects control change the blend mode to hard light. Now that looks better. Our text is still over on our boat but it's not visible to our eyes. This is the first option to fix this and the second is what I prefer to do the most to make it look better. That is take the pen tool and draw a mask around our boat to make our boat look over our text. You can click on this above video link to learn how to do it. 
Now let's move on to our next stage. Since our text is inside the ocean water, it should look like it's waving because of the waves. For that go to effects panel and type in wave warp. Take the wave warp and place it on our text layer. As you see our text looks like it's waving, we will fine tune it as per our need in a second. Go to effects control. Here we have the wave effect. We will change the wave type from sine to circle. Circle is perfect for this underwater wave look. We will decrease the wave height to 4 and wave width to 92. Now that looks better and not overdone. You can increase the direction to make it look more dynamic. Here we have wave speed, this is what makes our text to move like a wave. So be cautious while setting the wave speed, we want our wave to look natural. For that I will set the wave speed to 0.2. Change the pinning to all edges. You can increase the phase to make our text look more wavy. Now let's play it and see the magic. That looks amazing. We now created and animated that perfect ocean waving effect and it looks super good. We will now animate our fade out effect. Place the indicator at 3 second after our opacity and keyframe. Click on this add keyframe icon to add a keyframe. Place the playhead at 17 second or 7 second duration. Now bring down the opacity to 0. Here we don't have any more video tracks. To add more video and audio tracks, right click here and increase the video audio tracks as you want. Click OK. Now we will animate that pan reveal effect on our text. Long press on the pen tool and select rectangle shape tool. Make sure that no layers are selected. Create a shape that covers our text completely. We will change the color to white in the fill. Extend the shape layer as long as your text layer. Now we'll make our text to be only visible on our shape layer. Go to effects panel and type in track map key. Take this and place it on our text layer. Go to Effects Control Panel. Here we have our Track Matte effect. Here we will change the composite to Matte Luma. Now select the Matte track. Since we want our text to be only visible on our Shape Player and our Shape Player is in the Video Track 4. We will select the Video 4. As you see nothing happens, but I will show you the value of this effect in a second. Select the shape layer and go to position in effects control. Drag our text position to the left and see the magic. As you see our text is fading out one letter after another. That is because of track mat on our text layer. It lets our text to be only visible on our shape that is over the top of our text. If I hide the text layer you can see it clearly. Drag it until you can't see any text. We want this to animate as same time as our opacity animation. Place the indicator at the start and keyframe the position. Now place the playhead at 7 second and bring in the shape, all the way until we can see all of our text letters.
Now you can see that our shape is completely covered our text and making it visible. If you take a look closely you can see that our text reveal is super sharp and not matching with our ocean theme. We want it to be a little more natural. For that we will create a mask around our shape layer. Hide the text layer and make sure the shape layer is selected. Take the pen tool and make shape around the edges. Now you see our masked part is the only visible part. We will change it by clicking on this invert checkbox. Increase the feather to eliminate the sharp edge of our shape layer. As you see our shape still have some sharp edges left. Increase the size of the mask by dragging this edges to the right. Now that looks good. We still haven't finished animating our reveal. If I move the indicator, as you see our shape became sharp again. That is because our mask is not moving and it stayed right there. To animate that, place the indicator at the start and bring in the mask to that shape end. Keyframe the mask path here. Now place the playhead where our shape finished animating. And place the mask at the end. This created a keyframe automatically because of the changes done on our mask path. Now unhide the text layer. We will play it and see the magic. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect ocean title reveal animation and it looks amazing. We can add one more effect to make our text fade out look more realistic. Go to effects panel and type in block dissolve. Take the block dissolve and place it on our shape layer. Go to Effects Control. Here in the Block Dissolve effect. If I increase the Width Height and Transition. You can see this dash like line effect on our text. We will use this to make our text look dissolved in the ocean. And it will look amazing. Change the Width to 3. Block Height to 8. This will give us that round block look on our text. Increase the feather to 50%. Now that looks good, we will start animating our text dissolve effect. Bring the transition to zero. Place the indicator where our opacity starting keyframe of fade out is. Keyframe the transition and place the playhead at 17th second, or 7 second duration same as the opacity keyframe. Now change the transition to 100%. Let's play it and see the final result. That looks super awesome. We now created that realistic underwater title reveal animation in Premiere Pro. It looks super good. If you want to use this project file and see the tricks that I used in this animation and to learn more about it, you can always download this on by going to this pay hip link in the description. You will receive this project file along with stock footage for just one dollar. It will help you learn more about the effects that I shown in this tutorial.
We now know how to create that amazing underwater title reveal in Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I will say it again and again, your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this, and I am thankful for your generosity. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.